I'll use the front side Eastern grip and I'll just vary my arm length uh, between um, uh, kind of a fully bent elbow and three quarter length um, arm length and an, an outstretched uh, arm the straight elbow so I begin with the bent elbow Quarter length. Eastern and then the front side semi western. Semi western. Back to Eastern. trying to keep it at the for fully bent elbow I have to kind of get in close to the ball or kind of bend down or kind of um, you have to get to the ball early to, to get it within reach so um, it's a very kind of a basic drill but I, I, I suppose um, you can still get a lot of speed with a kind of a three quarter length um, arm length even though you, you can get more speed off uh, an outstretched elbow during contact but sometimes it's unrealistic to kind of um, go for top speed on every shot if your arms are kind of tired so if you're doing a three quarter length you can still get a lot of speed while conserving some of your your arm energy and um, I suppose it's also good for um, obviously just shot direction you can say that with a lot of things but um, I suppose it's, it's not tennis isn't an exact science but um, certainly get a lot of angle on these kind of sh sh uh, short arm length shots inside out or inside in you can still do the same for the outstretched elbow but um, it's just out, out of convenience um, lastly for a top spin so if you think of a western forehand Um, it's often kind of a bent, a bent elbow, maybe 
might be straight, sometimes strong contact, sometimes not. So if you're comparing a top spin grip to a flat grip, you can try using the flat grip with a, a half length or three quarter length arrow and just maintain it throughout the entire swing instead of extending it at contact. So that was just a quick overview, thank you.